Hello everyone, this is Dia from E Academy. This is the third episode of the theorem related to the limit or the accumulation points of a set in a topological space. The theorem is if X and Tau is a topological space and there are two subsets of X A and B then accumulation set of A intersection with the accumulation set of B is equal to A intersection B then accumulation set that is the intersection of accumulation set A and accumulation set B is equal to the accumulation of A intersection B this is the theorem that we have to prove and we know that we have to prove this theorem in two parts the very first part is that we have to prove that Accumulation set A intersection with accumulation set B is a subset of A intersection B and the second part is A intersection B accumulation set is a subset of A accumulation intersection B accumulation set. So let's start the proof with this first part. The first part that we have to prove is that this a prime intersection b prime is a subset of a intersection b prime so let's take a point from from this set a belong to a prime intersection b prime if a is a part of a intersection a prime intersection b prime then this means that a is a member of of a accumulation set and also the second part is that A is a member of B accumulation set. Now we will use the definition of the accumulation set. If A is the member of the accumulation set A, which means that for all of the open sets or the open neighborhood of A, the intersection of all of that open sets other than the point A is not an empty set and same the case for for this a belongs to b accumulation set we will use the definition of the accumulation set for all of the upper neighborhoods of a and the intersection of that upper neighborhoods and b other than the point a is not an empty set now we will combine both of the definitions that is taking union of them u intersection a other than the point a this intersect with u intersection b other than the point a and this is equal to because this is an empty set this is also an empty set so the intersection of two empty sets is also an empty set. We can simplify this as taking that common from both of them U intersection B and this is A. This is not an empty set. So again we can take u common u intersection a intersection b other than that point a is not an empty set so if we let a intersection b is equal to c which means that we can write it as u intersection c other than that point a is not an empty set if c is equal to a intersection b for letting c is a intersection b this is the same definition as we used for for this set a and for this set b so this information implies that a belongs to the accumulation set c because this is the definition of the limit or the accumulation point and this definition says that A is a part of the accumulation set C and as we have let C 
is equal to A intersection B accumulation set. So in general, we can say that A belongs to A intersection B prime. Initially, we pick a point from this set A prime intersection B prime. And by using the definitions, we have proved that A also a member of A intersection B accumulation set. So this whole thing implies that A prime intersection B prime is a subset of A intersection B prime. So the first part is proved by using the definition of the accumulation set. Now we will see how to prove the second part. The second part that we have to prove is that A intersection B prime is a subset of A prime intersection B prime or we can say that A prime intersection B prime is a superset of A intersection B prime. So let's start its proof. Let A is a member of A intersection B prime and we will use the definition of the accumulation set for all of you that is for all of the open sets of that point A such that the intersection of of u and that that set other than the point a is not an empty set so we can write it as u intersection a intersection u intersection b as well other than that point A. We can also write it as U intersection A intersection with with the other part that contains the P set is also not an empty set. So there are the two definitions. The first is for the accumulation set A and the second is for accumulation set B. This implies that A is a member of accumulation set A and this implies that A is a member of accumulation set B. So we can write this as A intersection U other than the point A is not an empty set and B intersection U other than the point A is also not an empty set. This implies that A belongs to the accumulation set A and A also belongs to the accumulation set B. If A is a member of accumulation set A and B accumulation set then this thing implies that that A is also a member of the A intersection A prime intersection B prime. So we can write this now. A is a member of A intersection B prime. So we have picked A from this set A intersection B prime and by using the definition we have proved that A belongs to A prime intersection B prime. So this information implies that this set is a subset of this set or also this set is a superset of this set. A intersection B is a subset of this thing. So this is the second part that we have proved now. So combining both of the parts, combining both of the parts, so the first and the second part implies that if this set is a subset of this set and this set is also a subset of this set then eventually both of sets are equal sets. So we have proved this theorem by using both of the parts. So this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.